तो कैसे हैं आप लोग आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई YouTube चैनल कोडिंग बाय फन एंड चलिए शुरू करते हैं सो वी आर डूइंग स्ट्रिंग डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड टू डेज क्वेश्चन इज टू चेक इफ स्ट्रिंग इज रोटेटेड बाय टू प्लेसेस सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू लेट्स सी गिवन टू स्ट्रिंग्स ए एंड बी द टास्क इज टू फाइंड इफ अ स्ट्रिंग ए कैन बी ऑप्टेंड बाय रोटेटिंग अनादर स्ट्रिंग बी बाय टू प्लेसेस सो लेट्स सी द एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट दीज आर दू एग्जाम्पल्स दिस इज स्ट्रिंग a and the below one is the string b can we uh, rotate it by the two places and make it same as string 1 if yes then output should be 1 otherwise output should be 0 right so yes uh, we can rotate it uh, anti clockwise two times then it will be like m will be here in front and then again a will be at the front then it will be like amazon uh, it will be equals to the string 1 right so similarly for the second string if we can rotate it by two places and make it like string 1 then it is the output should be 1 uh, otherwise zero so we can't do uh, the second string as same as string 1 after rotating by two places so uh, let's start so first of all what the input i have to take is shown here like t is uh, is what i have to take initially so int t for the test cases that i have to tell and then while loop for this t and then what i have to do i have to take this string as input layer a comma b right now i am taking it from user now i am making a another function to check can we obtain the second string oh sorry, sorry the first string by rotating the second string so let's see i am making the function check and passing both the strings right into it so here i am making it bool because it will return either true or false so bool check string a comma string b right and now what i am doing let's see so i am mm, breaking it into two parts so what i have to do uh, what i am doing i am dividing this string into strings that is the sub strings of it so firstly i will store this am part and then i will store this a z o n part this is second part and then i will add first am that is the am part plus this part if this is equals to this string then it will be the output should be one so what i am doing let's see here string let's say it's b1 equals to i am breaking b so b dot sub str is function used for finding the sub string and we have to pass the indexes here like from what index to what index you want uh, you want a sub string right so first of all i want this am the last two part because i am checking the anti clockwise right so for last two part what i have to do b dot size minus 2 i am doing the minus 2 up to the b dot size right so i got the last two uh, characters of that string and that is the sub string of b1 right now i am also making a b string b2 and where i will store the sub str sub string the remaining part the front part like a z o n up to n last two uh, characters i already stored in b1 that is the sub string and now i am taking the front part so from 0 0th position 2 b dot up to the b dot size minus 2 right i think you got my point how i am doing this <coughs> and lastly i am a uh, one more string i am making for declaring b3 where i will add b1 plus b3 now my second string becomes am plus azon that is amazon right now what i am doing i will check this b3 
is equals to a if yes then we will just return not c out we are returning for it's a bold type function so we will return return true right otherwise uh, if will if it will not return then we will again change it to clockwise now again i will update b1 so b dot sub str now what i will do now i am taking this front two keywords am in one string and the last part as on in second string sorry the as on will be in first string then am in the second string right this is true so what i will take as on so from second index up to the b dot size right this will be our b1 and what will be the b2 part b2 is b dot sub str from 0 to 2 right and i will add into the internal b3 like b1 plus b2 right same condition i will check if b3 is equals to a if yes then i will simply return true if it will not return true at the end i will return false so that's all let's check here and after returning i have to end the line right so let's compile it So I am getting error B2 was uh, not declared in the scope. Let's check the error string B3, B1, B2. So let's check the error. So yes, I got the error. We missed a semicolon here, right? So let's compile now. So for this input, uh, we are getting the output. You can check or you can dry run. And now I am submitting it. To check uh, it is running for all test cases or not and yes our code is accepted means uh, our code is running for all the test cases so guys we have completed this question and if you like this video you can share with your friends and uh, subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon so notification mil jayega aapko next video ka aur milte hain agle video mein ek nai algorithm ke saath aur ek nai question ke saath see you bye bye